I'm calling Idol. Busy! Arr! Liz, you wanted us to be up close and personal, so now you can see my, my, um, lovely little eye appendages. I don't know what they are. They're just like, little extra pieces of skin. They're just like, hey, how you doing? We're here. Um, my grandpa has them too, so I'm not too worried about them. So, um, I never knew how hard it is to put an office together. I'm getting a new office and the new building, and I'm really, really super excited about it. But now I have to pick my furniture, which I've never had to pick furniture before. So, like, this is, like, oh! And my office is kind of small. It's, like, 9 feet by 7 feet. And it's 9 feet this way and then 7 feet this way. And the desk I really, really like is too big for the office. Um, so I have to pick something else. But I can have everything else. I just have to pick a different desk, which is okay. So now I'm just going to get, like, this table top with legs. Yeah. Oh, well. But I get to paint my office any color I want, which is pretty cool. I just finished a really good book. That's all you need to see it as. Well, I guess maybe I'll go like this, too. The Hunger Games. It's really good. Like, it's just really good. I think everybody should read it. Um... It left me totally going, why did you end it there? I want more, please. Felt like little Oliver. Please, sir, can I have some more? And then not getting any more. Well, at least not until September when the sequel comes out. But I'm excited for that now. Yay. Um, so, all my TV shows are ending right now. Because, well, all TV shows are ending right now because the season finale is... So that makes me really kind of sad. But, <laughs> Summer Trash is now starting, which is great. Because that leads me right into a little section that I want to call <clears throat> Casey and Sarah's BS Chat. And no, I'm not talking about that kind of BS. I'm talking Bachelorette Sisters. Come on. Only the greatest trash TV in the whole entire world. Here are my thoughts for the season premiere. The breakdancer, during his interview, he said... And I quote, one part of me is a one-woman man. What the frack does that mean? Only a single part of him is a one-woman man, and the rest of him is like, hey, ladies, I want you all. I don't get it. Kyle, um, oh, he had bad English. This was the guy with the mustache, finger mustache, which I thought was cool. But he had really bad English. He said, I, I look good, I smell good, I make love good. Bad English as well. Jacob, the pilot, adorable. Oh, I love him. I, I love him. I, yeah, I love him. I love him. Why did she wait for all that long time to give Hulan his rose? We all knew he was going to get the rose, so why did she wait till the stinking last rose boutonniere to give away Tuan? Okay, my top three picks for The Bachelor at, that she's going to pick is... I think the last three are going to be Jake, Kipton, and Juan. Those are my three picks. Casey, what do you think? I agree. I think we need to do more challenges. The person's name who I pick out of my best pawn cup, that's a story I'll have to tell you another time, has to reenact their favorite scene from their favorite movie with action figures. Okay, let's dig in. Dave. Dave. Right there. Dave, my friend, you have to reenact your favorite scene from your favorite movie with action figures. Yay! Cameron, I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully our favorite idol has been crowned. That would be Chris, because that's who I voted for. Let's vote for him one more time before we end. Let's see if we can get through. Can we get through? Can we get through? Can we get through? Phone! Yes, I know this is kind of pathetic that I, I programmed it into my phone this week. But it's the only week I've voted. Ever. In my whole entire life. Of American Idol. Oh, am I got through?